Hi, today we are going to see digital circuits week 7 and this is Benila. So assume the circuit, uh, here they are all your uh, serial input is tied to logic 1. So uh, the first clock cycle here it becomes 1 and uh, this 1 comes to here in the second cycle. Here it comes to 1 to the third cycle and this 0 comes here. So in the third cycle it's 1, 1, 1, 0. So here they have given your Q3, Q2, Q1 and Q0 as uh, 1, 0. 0, 1. So here, here um, your Q0, Q1, Q2, Q3. Here it is in Q0, Q1, Q2, Q3. So here it's going to be Q0, 1, 2 and 3 as per the diagram here. So the value uh, or not value is 1, 0, 0, 1. So here 2 and 3 exclusive or. So 0, 0 is going to be 0, 1 is going to be 1. So this one, 0, 0. This is your first cycle. So 0, 0 becomes 0. This 1, 1 and this becomes 0. This is your second. The third cycle, 1, 0 exclusive or is going to be 1. This 0, 1, 1 is going to be the third cycle. So this is your not 1, 2 and 3 value. But they ask you to get 3, 2, 1, 0. So just rearrange this. It's 1, 1, 0, 1. It's going to be the answer. So what is the mod value of 4-bit uh, twisted ring? Its uh, value is going to be, formula is going to be 2 into n. So n is 4-bit, so 2 a 2 fours are 8. What is the output frequency of the following circuit for 10 MHz clock cycle when input uh, T is connected to logic 1? So when T is connected to the logic 1, it's going to be toggled for once. So input frequency divided by 2 power n. So here only one output is there. So input frequency divided by 2 power n, where n is nothing but number of uh, uh, flip-flops. So here input frequency is 10 MHz, number of flip-flops is 1, so 10 MHz divided by 2 is 5 MHz. Initial content of the following flip-flops are 0, 1, 1, 0. So this is your in initial content, so 0, 1, 1, 0. So for the first clock, clock cycle, the E bar will be given here, so E bar will be 1, so 0, 1, 1. In the second cycle, the E bar will become 0. Here it is 1, 0, 1. So your answer is 0, 1, 0, 1. Which of the following statement is true uh, in the given circuit? So this circuit belongs to 4-bit asynchronous circuit because here your Q3, uh, here the Q3 uh, high input. So this is going to be your Q0. So your A is nothing but, so this is nothing but your Q0, Q1, 2 and 3. So for every input, it's going to get toggle. So 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1. So JK is given to a high, so it's going to get toggle acts as a T flip flop. So here for every A becomes 1 to 0, the value becomes 0. 1 to 0, the, the B toggles here. So it's 1 to 0, B toggles. 1 to 0, B toggles. So here for every this things, you know, for the every this things, it goes to get toggled. So this becomes toggled here, Q1. In Q2, for every Q1 and Q0 becomes 1 to 0, your Q2 with comes, comes. That's why it's Q0 into Q1. And here for every 2, 1 and 0 is going to be 1, then it's going to get toggled. So it's going to get 1. So it's going to be 4-bit synchronous counter. Which of the following sequence are generated at the output by the below circuit? So here they have given the below circuit Q3, Q0, Q1 and the initial state is going to be 1, 0, 0, 1. So they are asked to see the circuit. So here 0, 1 is going to be exclusive or 1, 1, 0, 0. 0, 0 exclusive or is 0, so 1, 1, 0. And exclusive or of 1, 0 is going to be 1, so 0, 1, 1. Exclusive or of 1, 1 is going to be 0, so it's going to be 1, 0, 1. One. So here again the exclusive word of 0, 1 is going to be 1. So 0, 1, 0. So exclusive word of so it goes on. So the output is going to be so 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0. So that's your output. So what is the sequence of Q, A, B, C? So they have given your circuit. So initially the value is going to be 1, 1, 1. So uh, here uh, Q, A is going to be the exclusive word of Q, A and Q, C. So 1, 1 is going to be 0. So this is going to be 1 and 1. So again, this 0, 1, 1 is going to be 1. So 0, 1. And 
and again it's one one is going to be zero so it's going to be one zero and again it's going to be zero zero is going to be zero so it's going to be zero one so this is a sequence it goes for so one one zero one 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 zero one zero one one it goes on so for the circuit shown here the duty cycles is going to be here your two bit counter is going to be uh, 0 0 0 1 1 1 1 0 1 1 so here the uh, j this is going to be the lsb so whenever my lsb is going to be 1 it toggles the okay, flip flop toggles so twice it is going to get toggled so what happens here is the duty cycle is going to be already the duty cycle is going to be your t flip flop duty cycle is going to be f0 divided by 2 so since it's going to be twice, so it's going to be F0 by 4 and the duty cycle is 50%. What is the output frequency of the following sequence? So here, if uh, here the assume your initial value of Q is logic 1. So logic 1 is going to be 5 megahertz, whatever you are giving here. So if your logic is 0, the state will not be changed. So it's going to be remain as such. So it's going to be 5 megahertz. Which of the following is going to be designed as a uh, shift register by using a shift register it's going to be ring counter identify the output of the following circuit after the sixth uh, transition so here initially the flip flops is going to be zero 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 so here the q bar is given as an input for the next one and then it's going to the next one so what happens next thing is going to be one 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 again it becomes zero 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 so at the end of the sixth clock plus it becomes zero 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 and here the sequential circuit clock is going to be 250 kilohertz. So which of the following statement is true? In, in synchronous counter we have universal clock that is common to all the flip flops. So that is your true. And here in which of the following statement is true? Mire and Mole and Mele's information output depends upon the current statement. Thank you guys. Have a nice day. Subscribe my channel for automatic updates.